Triton's first car walk. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty fascinating, huh? Happy Valentine's Day! Oh yeah. We're getting cows home on Valentine's Day. So if you remember the uh, last time we were out here, uh, we were feeding these cows distillers, um, trying to prepare to trap them in the uh, catch pen over there. Bye. They've been they've been going in the catch pen really well all by themselves. They've done two rounds of practice, which is so always good to do. This should this shirt should work out the way it's supposed to. There's still some stragglers back there. There's the catch pen up there by my house. There's already one up there who that must know where we're going. All right, Kendall's going to feed them their distillers. I'm going to hide in here until they're all in the pen. And then once they're all in the pen, I'm gonna be the one to shut them in. And they'll be captured. We still got a few stragglers back there. Hopefully they, oh my goodness. Look at these, look at these ladies over here. They are on the wrong side of the fence. Well, it worked for all but about three cows who decided to be on the wrong side of the fence. Phil's gonna have to try to bait them around. Get them in the pen. These cows. They can be so smart, but so dumb. There you go. Here, she was not, she's too suspicious. All right, so we ended up uh, making this pen smaller and then making a second pen. I did not trust those cows. I don't know. Yeah, these cows finished going. their food and so they were trying to get out, but we caught the caught the one in the other she, pen. She really wasn't that much of like a crazy. She wasn't trying to get away. She wanted to be in the pen. She just didn't really. And we still had a, a little bit of the store left in the blue. All right, so we're gonna put eight cows in the stock trailer here, and then Nathan is coming down the driveway with the pot. We're gonna put 32 cows on that. Come on, hip, 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 hip. 
Kendall is currently manhandling this loading chute. I'm just pushing with one arm. Good job, Kendall. <laughs> All right, we got the semi backed up to the chute. Nathan's going to tie tie the chute on to the semi just so it doesn't get moved, moved around and we don't want any space between here. We don't want the cows to fall through at all. So he's just going to want to chain that tight. You ladies ready to go home? Last two, here we go. Picking up all these panels, loading them on the panel trailer. Make pretty quick work of it when it's three of us. We're going down the highway. We're on the highway to bring the cows back to the farm to have babies. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, we made it to my dad. I'm here first with the stock trailer. Nathan will come with the, with the pot. They are going to pop out of the back of the trailer and run right into this. This is the biggest pen we have down here. Um, so that's pen two, got a hay bale. Feet are set up at the top. He kind of, this makeshift fence here. Um, there's the shed that blew down at my dad's from the windstorm. Still have not moved that yet. All right, Nathan is uh, taking the 9600 up to uh, get it ready to sell. And we are unloading the cows here at mom and dad's. All right, off they go. That was the top. All right, here they come, the big group. I ended up calling them because there was an alfalfa bale back there they wanted to stop and munch on. They weren't chasing very well, so I... Heavy bread, mamas. So today we have been uh, busy getting the 9600 ready to sell. And if you notice, the overflow extension, the bin extensions uh, for the 9600 are gone and they have actually been switched out with the 9610. Uh, we like those bin extensions and so we're going to sell this one with just the normal tip tops on it instead of the extension. So we did that and then we got this one all washed up, all cleaned up, looking really nice. It's super windy, super gusty, so that's why I've got my uh, sweatshirt hood the way I do. and got my sunglasses on but uh, not a super nice day it's actually 70 degrees so it's it's warm uh, but it's so windy 
uh, that's, that's not that enjoyable. So there it is, the 9600, ready to sell. If you're interested, send us a message Buy or leave us combine. a comment. Buy our combine. Kendall is the East Combine salesman of the family. So there it is. All right, the other thing we're doing today is uh, working on this Draper head we bought. I'm not sure if we ever told you guys which one we bought. Uh, this is the B75, and it's the one, I think it's the one Nathan went and looked at uh, in that one vlog you may have seen. So uh, we've got the 9770 hook up to it, and uh, Nathan's gonna make sure everything's working right. We we haven't uh, hooked it up yet. This is the, this is the first time we've hooked it up to the 9770. So here's what it looks like from the cab. It's nice and quiet in here compared to how windy it is outside. But the uh, combine is shaking a little bit from the wind. <laughs> There's Kendall. Look real nice once we get the duels on the combine. Well, uh, another day completed on Peterson family farm nice sunset quite a bit of dust in the air tonight from all the wind but um, hoping this blows up a storm there's another chance of snow maybe some rain here in the next couple days so pray for rain pray for moisture we need it we